Now, the next action I want to show you is to move the edit cursor to the left edge. Now, when you're editing in Reaper, you're probably going to do this a lot. You're working on a section, you hit play. You go to the next section over here, you want to hit play, but you want it to start right over here. You'll put your cursor over here, hit play, and keep working through your song, editing it. Always moving the cursor around here to play it from there. Make your edit and play it from here. But it's kind of a pain having to move your cursor manually over here each time. And luckily, there's an action to do this for us. Go to the Actions menu, Show Action List, type into the filter Edit Cursor Left. And there's an action right here that's going to move the edit cursor to the left edge of the visible arrange view. Let's hit a keyboard shortcut to this. I'm going to use the C key. But of course, you can use any keyboard shortcut you prefer. So now, as I'm working through my song, and I want to hit play, it starts from over here, move over here, do some editing, hit that keyboard shortcut, it moves the edit cursor over there, ready to be played. Do some more editing over here, hit the keyboard shortcut, hit play, it plays from here without having to manually move the play cursor over here. And we can make this quicker with a custom action. So let's delete the keyboard shortcut, go to new custom action, type in play, we'll choose transport play, and create a custom action that's going to move the edit cursor to the left edge and then play. Save it, shows up over here, hit the keyboard shortcut to this. And now we get play to work on our song. Move over to edit it, hit that keyboard shortcut. It moves the edit cursor to the left side and automatically starts playing. Work over here, hit that keyboard shortcut. And it always starts playing from the left edge of our range window. Work over here, do the same thing. It always plays just the window we're seeing. And there's also an action for MIDI. So if we open up the MIDI editor, we're probably working and editing our song. We want it to play from the left side of our screen. Open the action list. We'll choose the section for the MIDI editor. Here's the same action in the MIDI editor. Again, get a keyboard shortcut to this. And we use the same one because it's in a different section the MIDI editor. So again, we can work through our song, editing it, hit that keyboard shortcut, it moves the play cursor over here. Move over here, does the same thing, then hit play. Or again, we can create a custom action. We'll delete this keyboard shortcut and make it a custom action and add play to it. Give it a name and save it. And it shows up right here. And give this the keyboard shortcut. And now it's going to play back when we hit that keyboard shortcut on the left side of our MIDI editor. Edit over here, do the same thing. And it always plays starting on the left side of a MIDI editor or the piano roll. It's pretty helpful not having to move our edit cursor to the left side each time. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.